Hey guys, my name is Red Nomster, and what I have in store for you today is a proof of concept that I've been working on. Previously, I forged Toy Story in Halo Infinite, as well as Zelda Ocarina of Time, which even included scripted mechanics such as climbing, puzzles, and a Navi Fairy companion. In this video, I wanted to continue the theme of recreating games within Halo Infinite's Forge mode by going as meta as possible. As you surely know by the video title, I've recreated Halo Infinite in Halo Infinite. In fact, this entire arcade scene is meant as a starting lobby for the game. Now we have various arcade cabinets, a Halo-inspired claw machine right over here, but the focal point of the room is this Halo Infinite arcade cabinet, which is the source of that sweet, sweet retro Halo soundtrack. You may even recognize this unplayable arcade cabinet from Infinite's campaign, or the multiplayer level Streets. Now, I, I know what you're thinking, did I just get clickbaited? <laughs> no. Because as promised, I made this retro Halo Infinite game playable via scripting in Forge mode. Approaching Halo, within Halo, prompts you to start playing Halo. Ta-da! To break down this scene, the player at the bottom left, Master Chief, is on a mission to free Discount Cortana from a banished base. Zeta Halo's mountains, trees, and distant portions of the ring can be seen lingering in the background. Our character can move left and right seamlessly, using the same controls your real Halo player uses. Jumping also, uh, well it jumps. On the right hand side of the game, a banished grunt can be seen patrolling and guarding a button. To investigate further, we'll have to find a way inside. Approaching the door summons a prompt, but only if you look at the ACT button on the actual arcade cabinet. Pressing the ACT button will open the door, as well as sound an alarm. Now the grunt will be alerted soon after, face our direction, and begin charging and firing his plasma pistol. This is where the jump mechanic comes in handy. Of course, Chief has a weapon as well, and pressing the mark button will fire. Aha! A perfect headshot, as represented by the iconic grunt birthday sound effect. I totally didn't script that to be a 100% possibility. Now the grunt cleared, we're free to access the button that he was guarding. Again, requiring us to press the ACT button on the arcade cabinet. This summons a ladder, allowing us to reach the second level of the building. Climbing is also a feature I programmed, which is basically jumping, but doesn't allow you to walk left or right or fall during the process. Reaching the top of the ladder, we're confronted with a very basic arcade-style puzzle. As you can see, the weapon is locked away, and walking around and firing at the cage has zero effect. The trick, of course, is to combine multiple mechanics we've already mastered, jumping and shooting. This method ensures the bullet hits the latch on the cage, freeing the princess, I, I mean the weapon. Shortly after, for being a hero, we're rewarded with a well-deserved 7 points. But we're not done just yet. We need to climb a ladder once more and make our way to the roof to call the pilot for extraction. Ah, <sighs> this looks like a good enough spot, huh? And with that, we beat Halo Infinite within Halo Infinite. If you enjoyed this creation, consider subscribing to the channel. I want to reiterate that this is a concept. This project is absolutely nothing compared to what I or many others can achieve in Forge mode. I'm currently working in an unfinished pre-beta build of Forge, which corrupts the map once the file size approaches about 2 megabytes. Once Forge releases November 8th, that's my birthday by the way, it'll be entirely possible to build an entire arcade that not only has several more fleshed out games, but also doubles as a traditional Halo arena. Now, I plan on doing a Forge tutorial series as well, which will range from the very basics all the way to tutorials that teach you how to make projects just like this one. For now, enjoy the cinematic tour and take a peek at every scripting note I use to code this 2D side-scroller. Oh, also, I made a Patreon, I make these maps out of passion, and would love to continue to do so. Supporting me on there is the best way to ensure a steady stream of new maps, so much love, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.